should explain the stray cat situation because I've been getting a lot of messages about it. Basically there were two, there was Luis and Thelma, which we both did a trap and release where like uh, you get them in a cage and you bring them to an animal hospital, they get um, spayed or neutered and then they get released uh, back into the wild to kind of prevent the um, population from like exploding. So um, because they kept coming up to our house, uh, we were able to catch and uh, trap and release both her and her sister, and um, we did this one, we did the trap and release um, around Valentine's Day, and the other one was like a month later or something like that, um, and they came every day, and my mom was feeding them every single day, and uh, they were constantly, constantly with each other, and over the course of the past like week, um, her sister Louise is just not coming back, so uh, we're assuming that she probably died. And um, this one, her name is Thelma. Um, we might be changing that though, now that she doesn't have her sister. But we're trying to see if we can socialize her a little bit um, and take her in the house. Um, so basically, what I'm doing right now is like trying to get her used to having human contact, like a little bit or to even just get next to me. And um, my mom's trying to like allow her to like come into the house um, on her own terms so that she can be less afraid of the house too. So I'm hoping after she's done eating, she'll come over and let me like have, have her smell me or something just so that she feels a little bit more comfortable. But that's the whole thing with the cat situation. We're gonna try, I don't know how my dad's gonna respond to this. We're gonna try really hard to get her to come in um, so she can actually be our cat so Rosie can have a little friend so everybody this is Thelma hopefully in the future in the near future she'll be an indoor cat we've never had outdoor cats before it's just the two of them and we're really sad about the other one but that's why I want her to come in because um, she's alone we've never seen her with any other cats so I don't want her to be alone so that's the update yep and yeah that's the, the update so talk to you guys soon come here now Thelma oh she's hiding under the barbecue Maybe in a little bit after my dressing change, I'll come back out. Um, I'll probably come back out after my dressing change to try to, uh, maybe get her to come a little bit closer to me. So, so yeah, that, there's Thelma. Now she comes up to the door. She, like, sunbathes over here. And, uh, when there's a door between us, she's pretty pretty bold. Her sister wasn't bold, like, at all, um, at all, when they were both, um, alive, and, um, a lot of times, Donna would be more, like, she'd be more willing to come up to, um, the deck or the, the door to, um, to beg for food, um, it's just, I hate that her sister is gone, I feel so bad for her, because they were always together. And then while I'm here, I'm so got this going with Rosie, and they play with each other through the door, like, all the time. It's so cute. Except those claws. Oh my god, we gotta clip those. We gotta clip those, Rosie. You're so cute, Rosie. And there's our Thelma. Come here, Thelma. Hi, baby. I promise I'm not going to hurt you. I'm really hoping my voice is relaxing you a little bit. Okay. 
I got two. I'm gonna give you more. Yeah. Wanna check Rosie out? Yeah, you can have food. Sorry for the aqua angle and how I look. Um, today has been um, emotionally really difficult. Um, there's some stuff that's been going on for a while now, like a month. And um, I'll eventually be able to tell you guys, I think. But right now, I don't want to. And um, I'm struggling. Right now, I don't want to talk about it yet because it's still really complicated. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been really just affecting me a lot emotionally. And I just very like feel very, like, you know, like I have no control over anything at all. Um, especially with everything that's gone on the last, like, like six months, too. Um, this is too cold, I'm getting brain freeze. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just struggling. Struggling, struggling. I just got um, pain meds, so I'm, I'm hoping that I'll start feeling a little bit better and then can try to get some mango in me, but just not doing well with my mental health, so I just want to be honest with you guys, so anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.